Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, family. I'm happy to be with you all again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. If this is your very first time of seeing me or coming across my channel, you're welcome to Prophetic Alpha Upliftment with Esther Mega. God bless you. God increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you're new here. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so very much for your consistency, for always stopping by. I do not take this for granted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I make this prayer for you all that are connecting here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That may this word not pass you by as the light of God's countenance and shine over you. And all that concerns you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. What is about to happen in your life is going to um is going to shock even your family. Hallelujah. You know when you're living among people who do not believe you, hallelujah. And what you stand for means nothing for them because they are not seeing the kind of results that they should see from you so they don't believe you they refuse to believe you and they refuse to stand with you now god is about to give you victory concerning that situation in your life in the name of jesus bible says for i know the plans i have i know the thoughts that's jeremiah 29 verses 11 i have for you thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end now you holding on to God and staying cons consistent has made a lot of people talk about you and made a lot of people look down on you. Why? Because your life has not yet um, been filled or they have not yet seen a certain level of result or evidence. So they talk about you without having an understanding that God is taking you to a better place. God is the one leading you and you're not leading yourself. To the point where they stop believing in you. To the point where they consider you as someone whom nothing tangible can come out from their lives. Hallelujah. But God is about to do something in your life that is about to favor you. In the name of Jesus. God is about to do something in your life that is that is his favor. His hand of favor is, is about to, 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 to come upon you. To come upon everything that concerns you. And there is about to be, there's going to be a change, a sudden change that even those, your family, the, those around you, even your family, they did not see it coming. It's going to take them by surprise. They are going to be so shocked by what is about to happen to you. Because you know, the ways of God are not the ways of man. God cannot call you into disappointment or failure. The fact that things are, are not working towards um this the the, the, the path that you dis, you you desire does not mean that it's not going to work out. Sometimes God may just be preparing you for what is ahead of you, and people around you may not have that understanding, but because you have that understanding, you hold on, and see what is about to happen. God is will come through for you and is going to take them by surprise. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you is connecting here that that victory God is giving you grace, you will obtain victory in the name of Jesus. The favor of the Lord is coming upon you, and all that concerns you, those around you that were looking at you, laughing at you, mocking at you, they're going to be so shocked because of what God is about to do for you in Jesus' name. Whatever area of your life that you're trusting God for an open door visitation, I pray that the hand of the Lord comes upon it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. God increase you. I love you all so very much. And I want to say that you all are special. Amen.